All right. Bridget, Will, Will, Bridget, and the entire Davis crew, thank you for letting me take this little gremlin for the week. Uh, we're going to have a good time. I think I know what to do. I think we can kind of get it figured out, and I think we can start to move forward with getting a little more um, relief from the barking, from the evasive behaviors, um, and just from, like, jumping. So the one thing I really want to talk about is like small victories when it comes to dog training. Big things, big victories are great, but we have to start small, but we can get there through the week, okay? I can get there to show you everything that we need to do. And then you guys just have to kind of take the leash from me. Erica's about to come back in with some breakfast, so this is a great time <clears throat> to train. Um, so what I'm gonna be doing is showing her leash work, showing her proper boundaries, showing her a few things I want her to do on the leash, okay? Really small things first. <clears throat> we need to get her recall better. We need to get um, that barking down for sure. We need to get a streamlined communication and start to capture calming behaviors. So that's what I just did. I captured, I marked a calm behavior that she was doing. And what we're gonna do is that's just gonna start to come out more and more and more. <clears throat> but it's our behavior that's going to lead her behavior so the kiddos can do this stuff too it's gonna to be really helpful will let's say you're on a zoom conference call for work you know I can give you a nice little protocol <clears throat> so she's not gonna disrupt your focus okay something that you can do um, to just help leash work around that window all that other stuff so let's go ahead and just get started here and start to teach her proper manners with this sort of thing so see this right here already can get her ramped up I think there we go and get her into she's already been working on this so forgive me that she's just kind of jumping into it but what you need to do around your house let's say along the big table along the island because she can be really evasive and get away from you over there is going to be just working with her around this so let's just go ahead and start with a few things all right so see Already a redirection. Little stuff like that. She wanted to go to the front door. I said, no, mama, come back here and work with me. Good job. So we walk together. We work together. And all we're looking for is just a little bit of basic communication. So see how she angled herself to get into a heel? So what I do with this is I work on her nose. I activate her nose by luring. This is going to be your proper first way to communicate with her. Good job. Just get her moving with you, you know? That's what we want. So see, remember how like on Sunday when I came by and she was evasive and then Will yesterday when I had to like lay down on the ground and cover my face? This is gonna help where people don't have to do that sort of thing. Because Erica came home, I sent you guys a video yesterday of her coming home and <clears throat> Ruby did fine on leash. Good, so we just work together. We just move together, okay? Simple, simple stuff. But with all of this, you're gonna see me working recall with her as well, asking her for touch targeting, coming when called immediately. That's what I really need her to do, and that's what's gonna help you guys a ton, a ton, a ton in the house. So I'm gonna be talking about giving her treats that way. This is just gonna be serving as your introduction. Um, I'm also gonna be giving you a very nice walking video on how I want her to be walking. I'm gonna show you the proper equipment to use. Don't worry, it is not too intricate in terms of equipment. It's just a harness and a shorter leash, even though this one's really cute. But good girl. So, let's see. We got our eye contact. Let's see these notes I wrote down last night. Okay, good, all right. So she's looking for that communication from us then, and we wanna give her that proper communication. Just simple stuff. Look away, take a breath, good. All right, so let's go outside. Let's start learning good manners outside in the front door. And you guys have that awesome front area of your house. You can do that there. Ah, okay, hold on, forgive me, forgive me. I'm trying to go out the door. Got a dog pulling. Okay. Okie doke. Front door, front door, same stuff, but this is something that y'all are gonna need to practice. Take one, two, five, ten minutes, okay? For real. Just walk by. 
Just have people walk by. Just stand with her. Find these moments to work with her. Find these moments. that set very simple I mean we just want to keep it simple whatever your schedule allows one minute two minutes five minutes ten minutes okay remember that don't forget it okay simple luring eye contact and praise good girl but she needs to work on this leash this is her training wheels these are her training these are her training wheels just like when you taught your kids to ride a bike all the things that they do these are her training wheels. So here comes Erica. See what she does. So, man, I stopped that barking immediately. So if she, she knows what to do. Come on. She's just got to get that response time a little better. So see, she wants to go see the taco lady. <laughs> but my amazing partner. But she can't right now. See, we want to get that. All right, so let's go back inside. And we're going to wrap it up in here. Okay, okay, okay. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go back in. We're almost done. We're almost done. I'm sure she just loves me documenting her breakfast. But it's important to learn these boundaries. I hope your tacos are good. We almost had a little ruby dust up with some guys passing out flyers, but I got her to stop barking. I was like, yeah, we don't want the flyers. <laughs> wow, you mm -hmm. beans. Only on one of those. Only, only on one. I'll get some another time. So proper proper boundaries around the, the kitchen table. Little stuff, you see? It's just visualizing little stuff that you want out of her. Cause she's such a sweetie, but she gets so close. I just ate an egg and cheese sandwich. She just gets so close to you. And I'm like, no man, I don't appreciate that. But what I do appreciate is us working together. So let's go ahead and just do a nice little proofing test. Take her off leash. See what she does. Make treats minimal. Really give it to her in these moments here. And tomorrow we're gonna start our walking training. I'm gonna put this up here. And just see how she does with Erica. Good? Good, good. Man, I think we've had a good moment. Hey, sweetie, don't be itchy. I'll have to give you a Benadryl later. Excellent work. Good job. We're going to end with that little simple little sit and look up. Those are the things you want, a sit and eye contact. So super important. Let me know if you guys have any questions. And I love your dog. Take care.